guys, I'm Laura Vitali. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make tomato soup. It has been requested so many times here in Laura in the Kitchen, so I figured, hey, I'm in the mood for tomato soup, so let me show you how to make it. Now, let's go over the ingredients so we can get started. You're going to need some fresh tomatoes, chopped onion, chicken stock. These are some Italian peeled tomatoes garlic, salt and pepper, extra virgin olive oil, and you're gonna need a few extra ingredients, which I'll get into um, when the time comes. So for now, the, one, the first thing you wanna do is get your oven preheated to 425. What I'm gonna do is roast my tomatoes. I like my tomato soup to have some fresh tomatoes in them. These tomatoes are not that fabulous and sweet, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to roast them to bring out natural sweetness in tomatoes, and it gives you like a really, sort of sweet roasted tomato flavor that I think is amazing in this recipe. So, cut them in half. Let me put this close to me. And you can use any tomatoes that you want. I'm using just some regular, um, just like plum tomatoes, but that's what I found. But they're not that sweet, so this is really gonna help with bringing out the sweetness. So, salt them. And I'm gonna add one more ingredient which I didn't have out a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar is going to break down and really give the tomatoes a beautiful caramelized color, which I love. So, toss everything together. I'm gonna put them cut side down, and I'm gonna pop these into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes, or until they've developed a good caramelized color, and they've cooked down, and then I'm gonna pop these in, wash my hands, and you go in on making the rest of the soup. I have a large soup pot here with about two to two and a half tablespoons of olive oil over medium heat. And to that, I'm going to add in my onions. I'm not going to add the garlic in yet because I really want to cook the onions for a little bit, about five to eight minutes, until they develop a good a caramelized color and they start to break down. And I got to tell you, I'm so excited for the soup. It is one of my favorites. It's got obviously tomatoes and basil, so it's a classic combination that I love. But it's also perfect because it's great for back to school or if you're going to work and you want a good lunch. I'm going to top this with some Parmesan croutons and I'll show you how to make those as well. Um, but you know, it's fabulous. Make the soup the night before and then put it in a thermos, right? The next morning, pop it in the microwave, heat it up, put it in a thermos, cover it tightly. The croutons stay perfect at room temperature, like in an airtight bag or container. Bring it to school, you're going to have warm soup, put in some croutons, it is perfect. I would serve it alongside some pita chips and hummus, and you have got a lunch people will be jealous about, I guarantee it. So, that's what all I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna kinda babysit my onions, and wait until they get a nice, good caramelized color, and in the meantime, I'm going to cut up some baguette for my croutons. Onions look perfect. I'm gonna add in my garlic, and I'm only gonna let the garlic cook about a minute. I just wanna get rid of that raw garlic flavor. So, as that's going, I'm going to finish with my croutons. I just have a roasted garlic baguette here, but you can use any kind of bread that you want, any kind of bread you have on hand. Grab my olive oil. I'm going to drizzle it with some good quality olive oil. And then I'm going to grate over some good quality Parmesan cheese. Looks good. I'm not even going to toss it. That's why I put everything kind of all the bread together, so I'm not even going to bother tossing them. It's going to melt over the top. The bottom's going to get nice and crunchy. It's delicious. But before I pop that into the oven, I'm going to check on my garlic. It's looking good. Smells even better. I'm going to give that another 30 seconds. I'm going to pop my croutons into the oven. Same temperature, 425, but I'm going to put this in a middle rack so that doesn't burn for about 10 to 15 minutes or until they're golden brown and crunchy and crouton-like. And then I'm going to let them and set them aside to cool. So I'm going to pop these in. Add in my tomatoes. When you are buying canned tomatoes, make sure that you buy the kind that's low in sodium or no sodium. And make sure it's a nice Italian brand, because Italians, they got the best tomatoes. So at this point, you have a fabulous marinara sauce, but that's not what we want. So I'm going to thin it out with some chicken stock. You could also use vegetable stock. That would be totally fine. Looks awesome already. Need this a stir. Now I'm going to turn, well, the heat's on medium, so that's good. I'm going to wait for that to come up to a boil. I'm actually going to stick in some basil, but I'm not chopping it because I'm actually going to fish this out because if I were to puree the basil in the soup, it would have like 
like a greenish red color and I want it to be pure red and delicious. So I'm going to put this in to get all the flavor, but then I'm going to fish it out. So let this come up to boil, let it simmer for about 20 minutes, and in 20 minutes the tomatoes will be roasted, the croutons will be done, this will have a couple more minutes and then I'll kind of show you the last few steps. Soup's been simmering for about 20 minutes. I'm going to take out my basil. If a couple pieces get left behind, that's fine. It's not going to change up the color that much. My tomatoes are gorgeous. See how they're all slumped up and they're golden brown? And that's what you want. It smells so delicious. I'm going to just take them out, put them right in. I also took out my, um, my croutons. They're sitting on the back burner there, just kind of chilling out and cooling down. Alrighty. Last of the tomatoes. Looks good. Give this a nice stir. And I'm going to let this simmer for about five minutes. And in the meantime, I'm going to get my immersion blender ready. I'm going to plug it in. If you don't have an immersion blender, which is just a handheld blender, which I'll show you in a second, you can do the same exact thing in a regular blender. It isn't going to make a difference. It's just easier. That's all. So, let this simmer for five minutes and then clean up, get my, my immersion blender, and I'll show you the next step. Now, it looks awesome and smells even better. I'm going to turn this off because you don't, you never want to use your immersion blender while you have the pot on because it can bubble up and, and hit you in the face and then nothing is worth getting hurt. Remember that, no matter how good it is. This is the immersion blender. <laughs> It's basically a blender that I can just, it's a handheld blender, but like I said, you can use a regular blender, a food processor, whatever, and just blend this until nice and smooth. That looks good. Now, you could serve this, I'm going to add cream to this, but I'm going to pass it through a sieve first because, you know, I don't kind of like the peel of the tomatoes back left behind, so... I'm going to pass it through a sieve and get it nice and smooth, but you can absolutely serve it like this if it doesn't bother you. Um, you know, I prefer my tomato soup really nice and smooth and creamy and decadent and delicious. So I'm going to just take the extra few minutes, get a nice facial here with the steam and pass it through. That's about all I'm going to do. Once you have it all passed, I'm going to put it back into the same pot. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. I'm going to season it with some salt and pepper because we haven't really seasoned this a whole lot. Of course, always start with the pepper and you want to make sure you season it well with salt because you're going to be adding some cream in there which is sweet. The tomatoes are very sweet, they need salt. So, once that comes up to a boil, I'm going to add in the cream. Well, I'll show you what it looks like once we put it all together because we're pretty much done. Just going to add in a touch of cream and you can absolutely omit the cream if you don't want to, but I'm going to put it in. I'm just going to give it a stir, continue to let it cook for a couple minutes just to make sure it's nice and piping hot. That is perfect. Now, if you are making this for lunch for tomorrow, at this point I would cool it, put it into the fridge, and then tomorrow morning get up of five extra Minute, like five minutes early, heat it up in a microwave, put it in a thermos, cover it up. You've got yourself a good lunch. Serve it with some like pita chips and hummus. Oh, it's gorgeous. It smells wonderful. And then you can put your croutons, I'm gonna dunk them right in. You can put your croutons in a little Ziploc bag. And by the time you get to school or work or whatever in lunchtime, because the soup is in the thermos, it'll stay nice and warm. Your croutons will still be crunchy. It's a win-win. Taste the soup first. So good. So smooth. Like, it's not very heavy, which I like. It's got a very delicate tomato flavor, but that's my, that's where I like it. If you like it thicker, use a little bit less stock. You can always play around with the ratio. Just make it once or twice. And then that way you'll know how you like it. And taste the crouton. Hot but absolutely divine. Go to www.laurenkitchen.com to get this recipe. I hope you enjoy spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.